Some of my earliest memories include sitting in church with a mixed race congregation. That was unusual in the 1960s. Many devoted Anglican church members came over from the Caribbean to work and looked to their local parish for a spiritual home. They were generally pushed aside. My parents' church was an independent church. Many of its members had gone to other countries as missionaries. To have a congregation that reflected that international complexion was not only natural, but desirable. We lived next door to a family with origins in India. I used to play with their children. In fact, I remember listening to the sounds of Tamla Motown in their home for the first time. Holidays included Christian summer camps with young people from a variety of racial backgrounds. Sports, worship, meals together, it all seemed so joyous and natural. In due course, I took my opportunity to get out into the world. I spent a year in Pakistan after my A-levels. What an amazing country, despite all its troubles. Fantastically beautiful mountains in the north, deserts in the south, plains and rivers as far as the eye could see in between. And as is so usual across the world, warm and friendly people. By then we lived in Bolton. 10% of the population were of South Asian origin. My parents took a particular interest in this community and we had a wonderful diversity in our local Anglican parish church. But I was growing up by then, in work and with a family. I remember my boss at work saying that he wouldn't employ an Asian in case it disrupted the harmony of our office staff. There were fights between local gangs. There was a lot of nasty racist talk around the place. The diversity of Bolton was a long held given, but people still rebelled against it. My training and my parish ministry since then has almost exclusively been based in white working class communities, all with a fairly hard edge to them. It seems that those who live farthest from racial diversity have the most problem with it. A friend of mine from Bolton trained to be a vicar about the same time as me, and he ended up in a tough community in Salford. I was shocked one day when he told me that on average, he was stopped by the police on a weekly basis, just driving around. I'd never been stopped. Why him? because he was an Asian in a rough area. Even his dog collar offered no protection from suspicion. It saddens me deeply when people call into question the difficult experiences of black and Asian people. It saddens me that people are so fearful of Muslims. It saddens me that we can't simply accept one another amidst our differences. To change the unjust structures of society, we have to face change in ourselves.